to another legion of many spells. Exit sewers, or exit two sewers, to be correct. Alright. Oh, there are enemies right here. There's a rat. There's also some goblins here. What? How the heck I missed that? Whoa! Jump! You just see the jump? Can I recover some of my arrows, please? It wouldn't be actually bad. Huh. Yeah, I'll take all. Oh, there's a chest here. I'm miss you, but holy crap, I have so many arrows. To be honest, arrow arrows really sucks. Surprisingly, I can take both arrows with me. Oh, that's right. I didn't do this. Let me fix that. Wait a minute, did I check the chest there? I don't remember checking it. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't. Good thing that I remembered. Oh, jeez. Cheese for everyone, like Sugar would say. Although Sven probably won't know it. Where are you, the last rat of this dungeon? Ah, I see you anyway. Can I shoot his tail, I wonder? Huh. He moved. Ratty, 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 come here. Bye. And this is pretty much the last door. We don't need a torch anymore, right? I'm finished with exit the sewers. Ah, uh, Hoblion, it's... It's beauty, huh? 
You can see the imp. Yeah, there is the imp cave. I remember that one. The wheelbarrow. And here is a pesky mud crab. Can I kill him? Yeah, let's go to the higher. He's sliding down for some reason. Okay, also a little bit too high. Yeah, I got him. X try. Yeah, I just toggle automatic run. I'm too lazy to hold shift all the time. Well, okay, the Emperor City. As beautiful as ever. So we have to go around pretty much. Oh yeah, I won't use fast travel in this LP. I want to take a scenic route again and just enjoy everything in this game. Beautiful scenery. Just like the scenery of this game. Morrowind was too dark. Skyrim was like, well, we have some good part. I did have some real enemy part like those. Mountains, holy crap, the mountains without the horse, like holy crap. It's just super annoying. Athletic skill increased. Can I get up here? I think I can somehow. So, this leads to Emperor City Arboretum. Speak. So, I heard about this market district where I can sell and buy things. I guess I'm going to check that out, huh? As Sven would say. No step on the grave, please, then. That would be mighty generous. Body a serial. Hmm. Lovely serial. Market district, huh? Always so lively. So I'm going to visit this guy first. If he's. Oh no. Not that guy, uh, but here. The Mystic Emporium. Oh, it's locked. Great. So, we want to save some, b uh, sell some better bows here. Or not these guys. Oh, hello. Is there even a special bow shop? Stonewall shields, don't really want a shield to be honest. Can go to sewers from here.
There's the alchemist here, right? The man in granite. Fighting chance. Yeah, definitely they have like all the specialists here, except for the bow specialist, it seems. She's kind of sad for me. I would love to meet some bow specialists. You can sell me some better bow than my rusty iron bow, which is pretty much a word loss. But oh well. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this texture looks really nice. Compared to the originals. Oh, Lord of Skyrim. Has been a troubling place. And Redoran. At the main ingredient. The house of Redoran. Ogier runs a good shop. Yes. We're all talking. Fighting chance, huh? This seems like a nice place. Hello. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. And I offer advanced training for armorers. Sounds nice. And I'm not really an armorer, you know. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Yeah, expert, let's go to 50 with expert. Oh, we have normal iron bow. That is nice. I'll take one. You bought that for a song. Hmm. He would say so. Anything else? Yeah, can you give me like ten of your repair hammers? Would be nice. Can have this rusty iron bow. I don't need it anymore. Deal. This sword, this stuff. A good price for a good custom. Those shields, I guess. That's more than I usually pay. That's more than I usually pay. You don't say. Why did I buy repair armor from you? Wait a minute, I believe I bought some. Another satisfied customer. Bye. Don't say it's creepy like that. <laughs> Good afternoon. Afternoon. Hi there. Hi there. So I heard a rumor about certain guild that <sighs> might be recording and might require my Hello services. There. So long. No, Salmon. A Salomon Gianet. I'm a musician. I had a commission from the Emperor to compose a symphony. But now, with the Emperor dead, everything is at sixes and sevens. That's too bad, buddy. The Tiber Septim Hotel is a nice place. It's not cheap, though. Yeah. I think 44 room. Take care. Or something like that. They are definitely not cheap ones. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down, especially if Council is in session. You're tipping, huh? What do you want? Goodbye. 
But these guys definitely have really nice armor, I must say. Really sweet armor. Hello! Well met! Well met! Yeah, I remember that quest. <laughs> it's right here in this city. So the temple district, huh? You have my ear, citizen. And city aisle. So I heard the meetings are usually at held at night, so I should probably take a rest. And I also heard about this inn, which looks like a boat. Inn and boat combined. Yes, a bloated float. What can I do for you? Well met. Welcome to the Bloated Float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. I would like to have a bed, buddy. There's a room, all right. And a fine room it is. Yours for the night for only ten gold. Sure, that's cheap. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. Thank you. Farewell. Right below the deck. And door on the left. Oh, there's a storage. So, is this supposed to be my room? Close the door, please. Yep. So. Uh, Let's say like mm, around those nine hours would be a nice rest. Who is this guy? Oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. Just a passenger. What? I was told there are only two others on board. I locked the bouncer in the storage room, and she has the owner. So that leaves you. Now I'll ask again. Who are you? A member of your gang. There's no one else in our group except the four of us. The Blackwater Brigands don't just take on new members out of the clear blue sky. When we formed the Brigands three months ago, I was told no more than a four-way split on all the profits. So stop telling lies and tell me what you're doing here. I'm going to say. Then perhaps my sword can find the words that your mouth cannot. Poor bastard. Do I have the letter stuff on me? I got the raffle letter. Is letter better than raffle letter? Might actually be. I 
Oh, okay, we still have the bouncer. Well, not bouncer, but some lynch guy. And this helmet just looks really cool on me. <laughs> so, what were his instructions? Lynch, your instructions are to make your way to the bottom deck of the ship and secure all of the rooms there. Make sure you don't disturb Minx. She is to be left alone to do her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we will meet back in Bravel in three days. Make sure you destroy this note after you memorize it. Yeah, you're right. Seems like somebody didn't destroy the note. Private room, huh? No, oh, there is a free repair hammer here. I guess I can take it, huh? About time someone showed up. Whoa, his textures are nice. Thank you for freeing me. I'm Grom and Gromarad, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. I don't know exactly what's going on, but not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the ship. They took myself and Normal, the float's owner, hostage and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home, but I'm not budging until the coast is clear. I'm used to dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. And I am. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> no shit, buddy. Oh, there. Where do you think you're going? Celine's not going to like this one bit. I wasn't to be disturbed. Lynch sent me up here. Lynch set you up here? Why? Did he send you to talk to Celine? Yes. Huh. No, he sent me to help you. You are a liar. Lynch had specific instructions not to disturb me. Since you came from below decks, you must have gotten past Lynch. I swear you will not get past me. I wonder if I use the other option. Die, damn you! Let's get this over with! Die! I've got... All right. You got a few arrows in you, huh? Lady. Actually, half bad looking woman. Too bad I had to kill you. I'll wait on the tavern deck until you clear the top deck. That's where the ship's wheel is located. All right. I await your return, if you return. Ah, what are you doing up here? They find the golden galleon yet? I'm awaiting orders. Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this. And I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the Golden Galleon. When did all this happen? Hmm, three days ago. Damn that woman. She promised a four-part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damn thing. Do Lynch and Minx know about this? They are dead. Well, since they're out of the way, 
If I kill you, that means Celine and I split the take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. Do your worst. Am I really my combat style? But oh well. We have to do what we have to do, I guess. There is the wheel. I guess I should take one potion, just in case. Yeah. And maybe repair. Sounds like the coast is clear, so I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. Alright. Be cautious. Their leader sounds dangerous. I'm going to deal with the Selene. How'd you get in here? I took, uh, I took the key from Rat. Roth? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? I'm just the ship's cook. <laughs> There's no cook on board the bloated float. How dare you try and make a fool of me? After I deal with you, I'll feed your body to the slaughter fish. Oh my. Enchanted sword, huh? Yes, you are. How the fuck I miss? What's the matter? Getting tired? Little bit. Black water blade. Huh. Enchanted, huh? I'm sorry for take. to take the wine I guess that is nice ah, what is this book all about it seems like it doesn't not really add anything I'm surprised oh thank goodness that horrid woman kept threatening me. She said if I didn't come up with a loot, she'd throw me to the slaughterfish. <laughs> she said the same to me, buddy. It's a pity she wouldn't surrender. Such a waste of a young life. Yep. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. Ah, your fault, huh? At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Classic. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Anyway, sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. Well, I understand. Please, go get some rest. 
Yeah, definitely did the rest. It's still locked. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Selene. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. Yeah, <laughs> classic. Farewell, my friend. What can I get for you, my good friend? Hmm. You've already got the room. It's down below deck. All right. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, my friend, indeed. Sweet. Mm, are you still here, my friend? I know it's quite late already, but there has been some problems on the ship. Obviously, he's an ear anymore. Oh well. Farewell. Beautiful, isn't she? The Maria Elena. Damn fine ship. With a damn fine crew. I should know. I'm her first mate. Malvolus is my name. So believe me when I tell you we don't like it when people snoop around in our affairs. Get near that ship, and my men will run you through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening. So making your threats, lady. Well, maybe. Anyway, but they're like Nords. They don't feel the cold. Well, bye. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.